All right, welcome to a new campaign in Europa Universalis 4, playing on the latest Japan update here. Now, we've had a pretty good run with our campaigns lately. We had the Great Horde, or the Very Horde. We had Saladin's Legacy. Damn, that was good. We're going to try something completely different, because to stagnate is to get decadent. This is Luca. There is an achievement called Lucky Luca, where you have to go and conquer the province of luck now. I definitely know where that is. There we go. Uh, I try not to think too much about Jampur. Bad memories. It's a bit of a trivial achievement in itself, so we're going to spice things up with our very own Wheel of Misfortune. Every five years, starting from 1445, we're going to spin this thing and do whatever it says. We'll do an example spin right now. It has a lot of really, really horrible things for us. Some minor nuisances and some very rare bonuses. And an extremely rare bear has landed. So we'll see. You know, this is just an example. We don't have to do this. Don't worry about it. So if we had spun it now, we would have to exploit development in our highest province. Good to know. I show that example now because in the future, when people from the future are watching this, they won't understand what's going on because they're just going to jump right into things going, what's going on? I don't understand the premise. So now you know, and that'll be starting in 1445. And yes, every five years. I'm very liable to forget that, so I trust people will, uh, will remind me. Now, a bunch of the things that we require to do there means we can't play on Iron Man mode. That's okay. I can just get the achievements in my own time later on. Like I said, it's a trivial one. And to make matters even stranger, we're actually going to play on normal. I've been playing on very hard for a long, long time. I just fancy chilling out, especially when we have these uh, misfortune wheels to spin. So let's just go for it. I have not played in Italy in a long time, so even though it's a fairly easy place to play, I'm probably going to make a lot of mistakes. That's fine. That's what the wheel is there for, for me to blame all my misfortune on. So we are the Republic of Lucca, 1444. We're on the verge of the Age of Discovery. We are Catholic. We're a Republic. Republics are pretty weak these days, courtesy of the absolutism mechanic. But we don't have to worry about that in the first two ages. Excellent. The lol says, my grandfather was a park ranger in Lucca. Are you planning on conscripting him along with every man and his dog? Well, some of the misfortune wheel spins involve me gutting my manpower pool and my leaders, so... Maybe it'll come to that. Maybe I'll just be firing him. Okay, Luca, right. Italy, I haven't played here in forever. I am not sure what to even think. So we'll start by looking at the diplomacy, right? Who can we ally? <laughs> the staggering one person in the Palatinate. That's a bit sad. Can I not get anybody around here? I might be able to get the Pope. Florence looks happy, although I would quite like to eat Florence along with the Pope. Uh, Milan hate my guts, Genoa hate my guts, Venice, I mean, who doesn't hate my guts around here? Savoy look pretty good, eternal enemy of Switzerland, and Savoy has that subject which really helps as well. So I'll probably try to peg for Savoy and Pope whilst killing Florence. You have a common rival in Florence, and maybe I will as well. That's not enough to get the alliance straight up. And we can't marry people for that lovely plus 10 for that, so not going to be getting that. Let's just improve those relations. And I want the same with Savoy, so we'll go for that. Ah, but he's uh, he's rivaled with the Pope. Might be a bit difficult to get, uh, get the two of them both allied. Oh, well, we can but try, right? Merchants are also free, so let's not waste any time in placing those. I want to collect... I don't quite have the range to shift from many places, but I can to Niz. Alright, so far so good, right? I'm just trying to remember all the horrible things I put in the wheel and not play into its hands. Uh, I'm not going to be doing any of this, but... I, well, no, this I will be doing. I want the Pope as my friend. He has a Urbino as a subject, which makes things even better. I also have a bunch of ships that I'm not so sure I'm going to need. I would like to protect my trade, get some more money. Not so convinced I'm going to be needing or wanting these galleys nearly as much as I would like some money for them. Who would buy my galleys from me? I mean, probably could have sold them to Florence until I made them my enemy. 
Shosha Rulajik, you're right, he's randomly rolled at the start, and he's just a little bit above average, 322. You might say that's below average, but I think the average roll for a ruler is 222, so there you go. Ronaldo Grzuski. Okay, nothing spectacular there. I should probably focus on Mill so I can have an overwhelming advantage over everyone around here. It's fine enough for me, let's get going. Big things going on in France. Probably wouldn't be too hard to ally them. Oh, there's the thought. I'm, uh, I could probably pin for a larger ally. Someone like Austria would be amazing. Screw you, Savoy. I would like... Oh, he's... Why is everybody hating the Pope these days? Hmm. That's a shame, because having Austria as an ally would be a huge boon. Hmm. <laughs> Could also go the French route as well. Alright, I could turn around and not go for the Pope and instead go for Savoy and Austria. Uh, that would mean I'd be fighting the Pope sooner or later. Uh, tricky one, isn't it? Well, I can try. Or I'll just get consumed very quickly. Interesting. Go for Hungary, Jake. They normally ally Luca. Uh, you know what? You might be onto something there. Let's get ourselves some bigger friends. Which means this is probably not going to happen. We'll just cancel that mission and get a new one soon enough. Wow, Bane is here. Amazing. Could you enter a trade league? Most likely. Yeah, I could join the Lubecker trade league. I can't even imagine why I'd want to unless I immediately came under threat. Uh, not so fond on our leader, so we'll make him a general. Hopefully he's awesome. He would struggle to be more useless at this time of the game. Manly Manchua has joined the trade league, but they weren't somebody I was going to be attacking anytime soon anyway. Do need an alliance soon though, or else I'm just going to get hammered. I do also not really want to pay for my boats either of you, so we'll just mothball these guys. Alright, so it's 1445, we're gonna have our first roll on the Wheel of Misfortune. Now this this could be really, really horrible and just end our campaign straight up, but hopefully it won't. Round and round it goes, what it gives us, well I sure don't know. I wish I had the tools to uh, rig this so I could get some really nice stuff early on, but I do not. I'm also not that underhanded, probably. Well, we're not losing all of our monarch points, but we are dismissing 20% of our force limit. Thanks for that wheel. Now, our force limit is... Do, 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 do. Force limit is 7. And that just means that one of you gets dismissed. Boom. Oh well, what can you do? Yeah, uh, relatively light. We could have had a lot worse. Uh, Trade League with Venice is probably going to be quite handy if I get attacked. However... Mm, I don't know. I really don't know. Because if they get attacked, then uh, that's going to be bad news for me. The Ottomans will come and crush me. But on the other hand, I think we'll enjoy that for a wee bit. It'll give us some protection. And early game protection is what I'm after right now. Alright, so Provence have just been excommunicated. And I'm not really in a position to do anything about that unless I fabricate a claim here. But it's not even in my culture, so not too interested. How long do you have to stay with the, without 20% units? Well, I just had to dismiss them. I can get them straight back, and indeed it would probably be a good idea to do so, and then some. I need to puff out that chest of mine. Uh, okay, so Austria is a no-go on the alliance, because they now have too many relations. Uh, I could still gun for Savoy, and I could still gun for the Papal State. The question is, who would I rather? I mean, I'd rather try for both. Well, we'll see what comes of it. 
OPM starts, am I right? Or something like that. Now oh, getting ravaged by uh, by the North Africans, that's never nice. Florence has managed to get Aragon as an ally. Ferrara went for Burgundy. So a whole net of alliances here. We didn't get any lucky early smackdowns on people. But that's okay. We're not in any hurry here. Lady Misfortune will be waiting for us wherever we turn. Probably going to take quite a bit to get that alliance with Hungary, but we shall try. Probably naming some more enemies would be good for me, like Ferrara, who I will want to kill. And it'll be a good opportunity to do that when Burgundy ever gets crushed. So yes, Ferrara. And who else is available? Siena. Siena I don't really like. I wonder if they're liable to ally anybody that I want to be friendly with. Well, I would quite like to kill Siena soon enough anyway. Same trade league, but... Uh, Provence getting hammered will likely help me with that one. Other options include Manly Mantua and Genoa. Uh, you never know where things are going to go with them. We'll keep it open for now. I'm very bad at uh, selecting rivals at opportune times. Okay, so Venice already in two wars. Wow, okay. So I don't think they're going to do much good as my trade league leader. I'm going to need to make those alliances and soon. Not with Albania though, heavens no. We're getting there with the Pope. Once I have the Pope, I want to annihilate his enemies. That is to say Florence. Florence is allied with Aragon, but there will be a day where Aragon hopefully gets eaten up. And then I can just move on in and crush Florence. That's the goal at least. Right, there we have it. Now I wish I hadn't gotten rid of that mission, because then I would have had good stuff there, but there we go. And sure enough, Savoy won't want to be my friend anymore, because I've just allied their enemy. Sucks to be us. I do wonder how plausible Hungary is as an alliance at this point. I can get another 50 with them, which will be another, what is it, 10 reasons? I should be able to get Hungary. The question is, who else do I get, if anybody? I mean, who is it even... L well, Switzerland's probably a good one. They allied France, which makes them uh, pretty hunky-dory on their own. And they'll be great for taking out Milan. So we'll try to go with the Swiss. So if I get uh, the Pope, Hungary, and Switzerland, then all will be well. Why not just ally my glorious home country, the Palatinate, says HD Cyclone, because what good are they going to do for me? They can't even vote me for the HRE, because I am Glorious Republic. Alright, missions, give us them. Milan, no, no, and Milan is a... no. Wow, Milan hate me, and they want to eat me up. Jake, is there a percentage chance breakdown of the different sections of the Wheel of Misfortune? Doesn't make that much of a difference, but it might be fun to see. Uh, good question. If you just hold on to your boots there, I might be able to get something for you. Hang on, this should only take a moment. There we go. I just posted it in chat. You should be able to view it. It has all the weightings for it and then a few other tools that helped me put it into the uh, the Wheel of Misfortune itself. Right, I haven't even glanced over at my estates because I do my utmost to ignore them these days, so... So there. Although, you know, it'd probably be good to punch, say, money out of them or points out of them, but I find it hard to care about them so much. How was your new year? Eh, so far, very similar to the old year. Alright, so we can bag the Swiss here. That won't make Milan or Savoy particularly happy, but that's okay to me. Welcome. 
Now we got a freebie. I really think that I should get a claim going on uh, Florence. Now it's extremely expensive land to take in terms of aggressive expansion because we are still in the HRE, but I need to expand somewhere. Are you using any mods, Jake? No, I am not, but I'm not playing an Iron Man mode. I may well need the console for some of the Wheel of Misfortunate things that can happen. For example, Bear has landed, or lose all monarch points. So as I said, every five years we're going to spin that Wheel of Misfortune. Wouldn't mind one that killed my ruler right now, but that doesn't appear to be happening. <laughs> you have conquest on the Pope. I really think I'm going to use the Pope to just crush you. We're looking fairly good with scoring a Hungarian alliance. We may need an advisor for it, but we have just the man in charge. Not that he would help out in fighting Florence, but the Pope certainly would. And I sure want those Florentine lands. Doing that will... Oh, what have we here? Venice, your faithful ally, is requesting that you come to their aid in the Hungarian conquest. Okay, so I have to fight my own ally here. Because Hungary has decided to fight, well, my own potential ally. That would be the third war that you get involved in. That would tank my diplomatic uh, reputation for a bit, which is less than ideal. Mm-hmm. Well, that's not so nice now, is it? You know, I never really liked your trade league. Won't you be my friend instead? I wonder if I can cheese this. Like, mega cheese this. Can I accept this? What would happen if I did? It might be worth the... Uh... This used to be an old trick that you would do, where you would just de-ally somebody that uh, wants to fight you. Can I? Can I even accept this? Hmm. I don't know. Does anybody know? I really don't want to be at war with uh, Hungary here. But if I decline, ah, oh, what the hell? I'll decline that. Yeah, there we go, and Dishonored Alliance. But, hey, I'm not too worried, because I have my alliance with Hungary now. I just need to figure out how best to carve you up. I don't want to hemorrhage this money, but I may well need the... Yeah, sure. Don't want you guys to hate me too much. Um... I need to think how well I can destroy you. Knowing Aragon, he would just march on over and make my life particularly miserable. But I'd be particularly happy if Aragon fell underneath the Iberian Union. Well, what the hell, I got some alright friends. I just need some enemies, that's the problem. Milan decided to ally my good friend the Pope. I should be in a position to crush Ferrara whenever possible though, because they, they're they friendly with Burgundy, and Burgundy is no doubt going to be get uh, Franced before long. This land is mine, don't mind me. Oh, what, I have a, I have an embargo here? Not on my watch, I don't. What I should do, though, is embargo my own rivals right now, which is something I so often forget to do. But I gotta harvest all that PP.
And all is relatively well. <laughs> well, Genoa would let us into their league, but uh, the Ottomans would probably just come and trash them as well. That said, getting them as a friend probably wouldn't hurt, so I'm not likely in a position to be fighting them anytime soon. Then again, people come for them, including the Ottoman, so perhaps not. There's a lot to get. Oh, that's good news. Florence is. Uh, Florence. Well, probably won't last too long. Not for a 58 year old Republican leader, but I still want to eat you up. Claim on Siena? Mmm. Siena's tricky. I would like one. We'll grab one later on. The Pope probably wants that land. Well, he wants it, but he doesn't look willing to die for it. Right, you're costing me too much money. Away you go. <clears throat> Let's get a feel for potential war with you, though. You managed to grab another friend, which is unfortunate. I don't like my chances of Pope and me, plus Savoy, Aragon, and Florence. If Aragon was not involved... Well, even then, Savoy's a, a bit of a bother. Just a bit. We'll worry about it later. Huh. Well, this isn't something to worry about. Normally, Republics struggle on the stability front because it's so expensive to get, but whilst it's cheap, let's enjoy that. Okay, all's well in Cam, <clears throat> but it's only about a year until the Wheel of Misfortune comes along and forces my hand in some way that I'm probably not going to like. Well, here's one. Now I'm just about to lose my CB, an amazing CB, on Florence. So let's see if there's any possible way that I could... Oh, well, there we go. It's gone. It and you. Okay, still, the term is up. I would like to re-elect him, but he's really old. So let's get somebody who knows their way around the battlefield. Okay, they're also really old. That's a shame. Oh, they're not terrible in the battlefield, though. Shame, I have these people I want to kill. Oh, well! If Burgundy ever gets into a spot of bother, then I'm going to jump on Medina. The Pope wants your lands. Doesn't seem like they want it too much. So I could claim it, but uh, I'd have to promise the Pope some land here. Jake, maybe unfund the army. I'm a little worried about getting jumped on with it unfunded, but it's probably a good idea to make that money at the moment. Let's get our other claim on you, and then start thinking about who else we want claims on. People like Siena. Venice certainly wouldn't join in. They're getting pummeled. Provence would, but Provence often get pummeled. Provence have a lot of other friends, but uh, maybe it's not in my best interests to get too chummy over there. The thing is, if I did this, I'd have to promise the po Pope land, and he'd probably want it. But still, it's a good idea to have, uh, have the claims ready. Jump in whatever direction looks best for us. A little concerned about my lack of good relations with the Swiss, less so with the Hungarians. Well, opportunity will knock, it's just a question of when. Okay, pretender rebels taking over Naples will weaken Aragon and indeed Spain immensely, but it would be amazing for us. That's if they win, though. Hopefully pretenders annihilate the Neapolitan army, but it's not looking good for them. Oh, okay, Naples will remain under the Union then, the fools that they are. Unless they fail to destroy the rebels and the rebels reinforce and all that.
Now you're involved in this war as well, and your only ally is Mantua. Genoa would be a nice target, but I don't even have the troops to siege down his capital. Nor do I think I could afford them. Well, the world is going forward and we are not, which is never a great feeling. I just want to go and crush somebody, and soon. Alright, so we're in 1450, which means we got to do what we got to do. Perhaps the Wheel of Misfortune will guide us in some direction. And I should be spending my Monarch Points quite liberally, because there are four of these that involve losing Monarch Points. And that's something I really don't want to happen. What's coming our way? Well, it's not bare as landed, thankfully. Oh god! Oh god! Whew! Okay, I did not want to lose all my military points. Instead, I lose all my manpower. Thank you, Wheel of Punishment. Uh, manpower minus everything. Goodbye, manpower. That could have been a lot worse. That could have been a hell of a lot worse. Now we get a staggering 100 manpower back every month. Yeesh. Alright, I think the Swiss like me enough. I already claimed... Uh, no, this is Siena. You get your Siennas and your man, um, Ferraras mixed up all the time, right? Whew, that could have been a lot worse. Alright, we got that claim on Siena. Don't need to be on their case anymore. Probably be a good idea just to improve relations with certain people at this point. I mean, I know Savoy isn't crazy about me after I made that other alliance, but maybe I should just stop certain people being too mad at me. I don't know, I would really like to eat you up, but I need Burgundy to be a touch busy. And I'd love to eat you up even more. And then there's Sienna. Well, I mean, I have this claim, so Austria won't get involved anymore. Provence is a bit of a pain. I could eat some land off of Provence, but I can think of a big blue blob that would not be particularly chuffed with me for doing that. I would get some more land, though. Mm, sometimes it's worth asking yourself if it's really worth it. I'm not seeing it. I should wait for my opportunity with Ferrara. Burgundy will stumble yet. Milan, Venice. This shakes things up a bit. Genoa and Siena. Just Milan. Okay, they seem kind of gutsy about this. They decided to take on Genoa, Venice and Siena. I know Venice is in a bad spot, but I don't think you're going to win that. It's a good opportunity to strike in any direction, really. Sadly, the Pope will help you. However, what if I kept the Pope busy in a different war? Opportunity may well knock here, and I'm going to answer that door. Ah, but I probably shouldn't rival you, since the Pope will start thinking me as a bad friend. But I can, I want to strike anyway. It looks like too good an opportunity. Well, there's no need to rival them. Let's get that claim going unless this gives me one. I mean... You might win this, I'm just not seeing it. The Venetians still have an army. Uh, run around all you want, I don't think you're going to make it. Uh, what I do want to do is sell my ships though. I mean, they're sitting there doing very little for me. Okay, people are too worried about their force limits these days. Who would buy my ships? <laughs> How about that guy that I don't want to get involved in that fight with me? Yeah, you'd buy them. 
Gotta keep the transports, they're kind of necessary, but you can have these galleys for 40 smackaroos. Done deal. Okay, so Milan is busy getting pulverized. They are taking on Siena, however. And amazingly, Crimea have not been taken by the Ottomans. So the Ottomans might have a harsh time here. We do not get the Renaissance, sadly, but it should be close by. Well, we might get that Renaissance yet. I want that claim on you. I want that, uh, that tech as well. Let's call Canny on that. Oddly enough, Switzerland aren't interested in this. Only because they're fighting in another war with England, and that war shouldn't take too much longer. I could promise land to Switzerland and give them Milan. Okay, Milan is something that I definitely want, but I can pluck that off the Swiss later. And there we go, they're now at peace. The time is very ripe for crushing you. Which means I should probably get this war going first whilst Venice are unwilling to uh, to join in. So yes, Pope, I want Siena gone, please. Provence may get involved in ways that I really don't want them to. But I see opportunity here and I'm willing to go for it. Where's my boats? Get home, please. Oh man. Now all the opportunities are piling up. You really hate him, don't you? Uh, what I don't like is that there's Milan right there. I mean, your enemies have access through my lands, but uh, if I were to take this moment to strike you, that might be pretty bad for me. Well, whatever. Let's just get things moving. We're going for Siena. Provence will get involved, but that's probably okay. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should be a little worried about those numbers. I don't like those other guys just floating about there. But I want my opportunity to crush Milan. Okay, well, they're busy focusing on the Pope anyway, so that's fine. With a bit of luck, they will assemble and take down uh, my enemies for me. Now I want Parma. You'll give it to me, right? Should probably get out of my own country here. So there's Siena right there, but Pope isn't taking him on. I might be in pretty grave danger if I fight uh, in this situation. Now Switzerland won't get involved because... Yeah, they'd be called into my other war as well. I wonder if this is a war worth starting. Could be dangerous. Could be pretty damn dangerous. Especially since Venice are... They're only at war with Milan and they're about 100% them. This could become what one could call really bad for me. Hmm. I'm wavering here. Ravensburg is right there as well. Look at them, they just smack them down. And that would leave me having to fight their entire army, which I'm not in a position to be fighting. Not to mention everything else. Hmm. It's less than ideal.
<laughs> Do I just want more wars? There's the question. All right, well, let's have you attached to me. Let's get that tech that I've been sitting on for a while. And see what we can do with that. I wish I had more of an army, but something seems to have wiped my manpower. Alright, my good friend the Pope. Alright, huge war going on now. What's happening here and how can we make the most, uh, the most of it? Burgundy's going to get flattened, which means I'm in a perfect opportunity to fight Ferrara. It's a shame that I just took what I thought was a perfect opportunity to crush Milan as well. Oh well, Siena will go. Then we can deal with the others. The goal for this campaign is to fill the requirements for the Lucky Luca achievement. Which is to take the province of Luc now as Luca. And uh, events are just tanking my prestige here. That's not too bad though. <laughs> it's a shame they wouldn't be satisfied just with the Pope's lands. I'd be happy to give it to them. But Sienna will be dead before long. And in fact, their tech kind of blows. If I can still have control of the Urbino army, I will go and smash them. And I kind of want Ferrara to die. The opportunity to kill them will be very, very good very soon. Ah, uh, that's less than ideal, though. The next election is coming up, though, so this will work for me. Do you need the spy network in Milan? Need is always a relative term. Alright, I know you're old, but we're going to keep you. And then we're going to get that Republican tradition back. You're right, though. I don't really need that. What I could well be doing is uh, improving relations with people nearby. Even if it is Genoa. Alright, two more years till the next Wheel of Misfortune. Let's hope I don't kill myself without the Wheel of Misfortune already. Jinx, just any siege is sapping my manpower dry here. Alright, Sienna's down. Their army is about to be as well. Fortunately, the... Whoa, slow down there. I need you attached to me, not to not me. Alright, let's go get him. Son of a gun. Not saying they all look the same, but these black and white flags, they're tricky. Alright, that went fine. Siena is now very much in our control. There's Provence, I think. We'll help out with that, uh, that wee battle. And yes, Ferrar need to die. Milan need to die. There's a lot of people that need to die. If only I had an army. I could take them on so easily in Milan, just eat them up. Especially with a Pope right here, but I have such an opportunity to kill you. Milan, tell me more. Yeah, Milan have 11,000. I would have to go way above force limit to crush them. They also have the same tech as me. Would be good. I mean, in an ordinary game, I would loan up and crush them. But the opportunity to fight Ferrara is right here. And what does Ferrara have? Uh, yes, Ferrara. They got 7,000. I can deal with that. I mean, it's expensive, but I can deal with that. What'll I get? I'll get one regular and one merc. And then I'll kill them. You don't need to attach to me anymore. I'm gonna have real trouble sieging that capital of theirs. As in, 
won't be possible unless I go uh, too above force limit. Oh well, I can't win them all, but I can win this war with you. Also, their tech blows. What? Hmm, Burgundy must have uh, pulled something out of nowhere. This is the uh, strike for independence all over again. Okay, something is uh, making them worry. Okay, there we go. Occupied and besieged, so they're probably the yeah, Atsa capitals under threat. But I want a fresh month so that Ferrara won't see this coming. Modena is mine. Time to die. Burgundy dishonor, because they are rubbish. There's a river crossing here, but I have more maneuver than them, so that becomes a moot point. And I flank you with a horse. Long story short, prepare to die. Well, not when you roll a 7 on the shock fade. There we go. They run for the hills, they get their morale tick. But it's not enough. We kill them. And then I worry about my severe lack of manpower. And I mean real severe. Merc, hold that one down. Horse, hold that one down. The rest of us get back, lick our wounds, and prepare for a long haul on Ferrara. Then there's still the Siena War to try to figure out what to do with, because the Pope is busy getting his keister kicked in, when I may well need him in the future. Savoy's so too busy to even help with all this. All right. I doubt we can do anything with you, since we didn't even take a fort around here. It's just your capital waiting to be taken, but that's not happening. <laughs> just take Avignon, man. Just take it. Or we could release Avignon, even better, right? Yeah, I'm not too worried about those guys. But I do need my army back in one piece and ready to siege down Ferrara for a long time. And I will almost certainly need a, another Merc to deal with it. Because I can't afford the manpower. This is going to be expensive as all hell. <sighs> Goodbye money. everybody's restored and we have a full amount that we need to take down Ferrara. It's not going to make me very popular taking all this but I will be taking all this. Unless of course um, Wheel of Morality spins around and gives me something really horrible. Alright we'll have it down except not at, not at that progress we want. Spy network on Ferrar will shorten siege by a minuscule amount. I think I'd be better spending my time improving some relations with people. I don't know who, but people. Like the Emperor. He's not going to be happy with me. But we got Hungary, we got Switzerland, we're fine. I just need to not get disease outbreak and we're fine. He says... I mean, a 10 roll's pretty good on this. So there are... Mm, trying to think of the worst things that the Wheel of Morality could spin for me. 
Losing all my manpower at this point would be really tragic. Fortunately, it's going up at the moment. Uh, having to dismiss any of my army or losing lots of money, that would just be beyond awful. I need to think what to do with Sienna. I mean, I can't just sit on them forever here. Don't know what the Pope... You know, what if the Pope stops wanting his land? That would be nice. Well, we'll... Oh, crap. There it is. We had a disease outbreak, which killed a whole bunch of our men, and thankfully we got them back. I would really like to get the Renaissance myself. I'll probably get it before this uh, war is over. Develop, Jake, before you lose all your Monarch points. What makes you think I'm going to lose all my Monarch points? It's extremely rare for that one to pop up. The nobility hate me and I lose things. We'll deal with them later. Nobility, stop being so nasty. If they had any more influence over my country, I could actually sap them for some manpower, but that doesn't appear to be happening. But that kind of money is worth that kind of admin power. And let's face it, I am needing money right now. Eight ducats is nothing, though. Yeah, I'll get that in due time. Worm says hello. Well, hello to you. Jake, will you be hiding your manpower in the build queue for rolls like you can events? Nope. Uh, the way I see it, when I roll something on the Wheel of Misfortune, I must do it. And nothing else until it's done. If I'm in a situation where it's not possible, let's say it's break a truce and I have no truces, then I re-roll. Let's keep it nice and simple. Nobody needs uh, laborious rules. How has Luc uh, Luca, Luca been unlucky up to now? We lost our entire manpower pool. And what was the other one? I've already forgotten what the other one was. Well, we're going to get another one real soon. Oh, yeah, yeah, we had to dismiss 20% of our force limit. <laughs> now we are 30% uh, over force limit. Now, that one would be a bit of a killer for this war. Did you have the worst possible event, Jake? Taking a loan. Somebody can repost the uh, the link that includes all the nasty things in our Wheel of Misfortune. But it does include taking three loans and giving them all to your enemy. Or rival, or, you know, giving it away. One way or another. Alright, Ferrara, I'm sure you'll fall eventually. However, it's time to spin the Wheel of Misfortune once again. Come back to us. And... Be kind. <sighs> I think there's one for air dying. That would be a reroll because we don't have an air to kill. Debasing currency isn't that bad. Get away from bear has landed. <sighs> okay, pay off all of a neighbor's loans. Okay. Do we even have a neighbor that has any loans? Uh, well, I can't do that with great power action, but we'll have a quick look to see if that's possible. Easiest way to do that is check for country, score, and... There's not one for neighbors, so we'll just have to check him out. Genoa, do you have any loans? You know what? Do not have loans. Do Milan have loans? Oh, Milan will have loans. No, Milan don't have loans. Huh. Come to think of it, I don't even have the great power ability to do this. So... I doubt Florence are going to have any, lo any uh, loans. This one challenges my knowledge of uh, the alphabet. Florence don't have loans, and I know that they don't have loans because they could give me hundreds of monies. All right, we're going to re-roll then. And if uh, if that one comes up in the future when I'm not a great power, I'll just re-roll anyway. 
Come on, there are some good ones out there. That was so close to break a truce. Uh, and I don't have a truce. Okay, that wouldn't have been so bad. Promote an advisor as much as possible, then fire him. Well, I don't have an advisor. I guess we're about to. Uh... Okay, well, I can't. So we just fire him, having promoted him to one. Okay, that was not as bad as it could have been. This is the guy we've got. Can't promote him, so just gonna fire him as soon as possible. I have to keep in mind that the wheel is on the screen. I gotta remember to kill that thing. Yeah, what was that right next to on the list, though? Uh, oops. I just spun it accidentally. Well, I got an easy way around that. Yeah, it was next to break a truce and take three loans and give the money to a rival. Certainly glad we didn't have to give money to a rival there. Will taking a loan mean a restart? No, I don't know why people think that. My rule of not taking loans uh, does have some caveats for situations where loans have to fall into your pocket. Okay, the odds of me getting Ferrara eventually are super low. How often does he have to spin the wheel? Once every five years. Well, well, hello Castile, you are about to be France's biggest enemy, which means France is going to invade Iberia, which means Naples will probably be free at some point. Good to keep all that in mind. I should probably not pay my troops too much right now, they are costing me an arm and a leg already. Ah, oh, and then I get disease, which means I have to pay for them all back anyway. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Good heavens, that's expensive. Lucan Conquest of Siena, white piece. Oh, the Pope just exited that war. That's very useful for me. Because now I can eat Siena without the Pope getting angry. Alright, I need to be in a position to do that very quickly. And it started in 51, so I will soon have 100% on you, as long as I don't get taken. And all the money goes to me. Excellent. It's almost like I planned that, but not quite. Provence have military access through a lot of people. They could come and ruin my day yet, but hopefully my army, which is of course fully funded, will be enough to keep them off my back. Okay, there we go. The only thing is, I would really quite like to get the Renaissance. Instead, I'm just going to get a whole bunch more land which will not have Renaissance. Well, I'm sure it'll get it eventually. It's not a huge deal. Uh, sadly, I can't take everything here. But I will take as much as I can. Yeah. That's going to make some people pretty unhappy. But I want Sienna. Well, I should take care of you first. Can you piece out the other participants, Jake? Well, that would be Provence and Provence's subjects. They're not interested in peace, but I will have 100% very soon anyway. I'll probably just sit on, uh, sit on you for now. Whilst, you know, I loot Medina. Wow, the Pope really hates Florence. Jake, kick that advisor. Oh yeah, he's costing me an arm and a leg. That was part of the role as well, so I had to do it. Okay, so this is exactly what I was worrying about. Provence is on his way. Oh yeah, I am having to pay for this fort as well, whilst I have it occupied. Well, that's all the more reason not to have this. Let's just end that war then. Also, it allows aggressive expansion to start ticking down. Hopefully the Pope doesn't get too mad with me taking the lands, especially since he has the mission to take Ferrara. That would be really bad. Yeah, now I have to pay for the fort anyway, but what are you going to do? 
So this war started in June 51. So in June 56, about a year away, it'll end. Florence hate my guts. Hopefully Provence don't get lucky with that. Alright, so far so acceptable. Uh, also, unfortunately, my ruler is dead. But I want that mill. Do I really want that mill? I mean, he makes a better commander if he has the good mill. I might be wanting that admin. I want it all. But uh, get on the battlefield anyway. 51. They're all so old. Don't end the war before you've cored for our land, otherwise you get unlawful territory. Now, I thought he could do that even if you are at war these days. Or maybe it just checks the emperors. I'm not sure. Point is, this is looking a bit unpleasant. They have tech 4. Lorraine also have tech 4. Now it's kind of a shame that the Pope got out of that war. Well, hopefully they can all hold on. Especially you. At least I have the money. And I should now have a force limit, right? Well, something resembling force limit. Am I even going to take Siena, though? I mean... Ooh. Okay, so I'm not going to take Siena. I'm so oh, okay, I can't even take all their money. What can I do with them, though? I mean, uh, they have no friends. Can't take their land for fear of coalition. Couldn't vassalize them, it just gives the same result. I guess it's war reparations. And a whole chunk of dosh. By which I mean a whole chunk of inflation. Oh, they're really not willing to give much. Siena's making gains, minus 30. Okay. I see how you play this one. Probably because you got that. Uh... Just take Siena, then co kill the coalition, says HG Cycle. No, let's not do that. Let's not get ourselves killed. The money that he gives me will be fine, and I can take Siena in the future. It's not like he has any friends. There's no point extending the uh, the truce here. However, keeping the war going, as you said, does allow me to core these. It relies on a few things, though. Good heavens, guys, you're fighting like dirt. You know, unless I start another war. Milan still needs to die. And the Pope doesn't want to get involved. Switzerland, I bet, would. Uh, oh, that's right. They won't want Milan anymore because Venice decided to Venice it. 